Gyeongsangbuk-do, South Korea, home of the largest indoor theme park in the world, Lotte World. So get ready for some heart-pounding, stomach-churning rides. We took line to the green line to come here. You get out of Jamsil Station, take exit 4 and just walk a couple meters and you're here at Lotte World. We bought our tickets from trip.com and paid 90,000 Korean won, which is about $66. It included all day tickets to Lotte World as well as the Lotte World Folk Museum and the Seoul Sky, the sixth tallest building in the world. Lotte World is divided into two main areas, the indoor adventure section and the outdoor magic island. We started with adventure and our first ride was the balloon ride, taking us high up to get a full view of the park from above was such a great way to start our day. After the balloon ride, I couldn't resist a French Revolution roller coaster. The 60 degree loop and the 540 degree corkscrew turn was insane and it was easily my favorite ride of the day. Awesome! Yeah, unfortunately roller coasters really aren't my thing. But the World Monorail ride was to my gusto. This ride took us for another loop around the park and was just the right pace for me. This is the ride I can do.
Afterward, we enjoyed watching the parade. It was so much fun with all the singing, dancing, and the fun characters. After the parade, we crossed the bridge and headed outside to Magic Island. First, we explored the Magic Castle, something less scary for me. But I was craving for something more heart pounding, so I headed straight to the Atlantis Adventure Ride where I definitely got the thrill that I was searching. I wasn't allowed to film and I quickly realized that that was a good thing because the start of the ride felt like being shot out of a cannon. The video is what I took on the 5G Atlantis which is the same ride in motion video but a lot less scary. Why is it that I hate flying, but I love roller coasters? It doesn't make sense. I was super excited for the gyro drop. This crazy ride slowly spins, building anticipation as it takes you up. At the top you have the most amazing view of Seoul, if you can keep your eyes open. Then, after what feels like an eternity, the ride plunges down at lightning speed, leaving your stomach far behind. Wow, the views are amazing. And I think the scariest part is when you just come to a stop and then you just wait and then it drops and oh my god you hit the top of the bar and it's pretty cool. <laughs> While James was doing all these crazy rides, I enjoyed a nice cool iced tea watching the world go by. After exploring Magic Island, we were melting in the heat, so we headed back inside. When we returned inside, the lights were lit up and the place was even more magical than before. James told me that school uniforms are a thing here in Lotte World, but I didn't quite believe him. But I must say, everyone is wearing a school uniform here and you can even rent it right here. If you do come here, get ready to queue because the lines are really long. Every ride was 50 to 90 minutes long. But if you do come and you're by yourself or you have a partner like Manisha who doesn't really like all the rides, you can go as a single rider. And I think I waited maybe five minutes per ride and it was fantastic. If you're interested to see everything that we did in Seoul, be sure to watch our Seoul video. Put the link in the description below.
We finished our day with the adventures of Sinbad Boat Ride. It reminded us of Disneyland and gave us those Pirates of the Caribbean feeling. It was relaxing and finally something that we could do together. Before we left Lotte World, we visited the Fog Museum, which was included in our ticket. The museum was so interesting and we wish we would have had more time there. So we bought our ticket at trip.com and it saved us around 50% of the normal price and uh, we have also included in this ticket the Korea Folk Museum where we are right now and it's really awesome, you should not miss this, and the Sky Observatorium. But our day wasn't over yet. We still had to check out the Seoul Sky, the tallest building in Korea and the sixth tallest in the world. Just going up the elevator was an experience. It went so fast that our ears popped. You are about to travel 555 meters and speeds of 10 meters per second on our Sky Shuttle. At the heart of South Korea, we hope you enjoy Seoul's breathtaking cityscape as well as our landmark building. Welcome to a whole new world in the sky. Once you exit the elevator, you enter a theater room that plays a really cool movie.
afterward, we took an escalator up to the 118th floor and the view, even with a bit of haze, was absolutely stunning. Totally worth it. We dared and stepped onto the glass bottom magic sky deck and it was really a weird feeling. We are on the 120th floor of the Seoul Sky Building. It's the tallest building in South Korea and the sixth tallest building in the world. We had such a fun day at Lotte World, the time flew by. If you ever visited or are planning a visit, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear about your favorite rides or what you're excited to try. Yeah, tell us which ride you think you'd be brave enough to take on. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next adventure.